In June 2008, Richard and Diane Breitmeier traveled together to Cancun, Mexico, a sunny vacation paradise. But they were not vacationers. Two years earlier, Richard had been diagnosed with prostate cancer. His doctor had discussed traditional treatment options with him, treatments such as surgery, radiation, and hormone injections. However, all were accompanied by side effects that Richard found undesirable. The cancer had been growing very slowly, but recently his doctor said that it was too advanced to ignore. After much research, Richard discovered an experimental treatment that sounded like a dream come true. HIFU, or High Intensity Focused Ultrasound. A doctor would use a machine called a Sonoblade 500 to locate the cancerous cells and then burn them away. This one-time procedure was minimally invasive and carried very few side effects. HIFU had actually been developed in the U.S., but was still in the very initial phases of testing. The FDA had not even approved it for clinical trials with informed consent. The only option for those wishing to undergo HIFU, like Richard, was to fly to Mexico. Many American doctors, including Dr. Patrick Walsh, a urologist at Johns Hopkins, and an expert on prostate cancer, are quite skeptical. I think it's entirely experimental uh, that, that any enthusiasm that's being gendered for it is really coming from the industry that makes a machine. But Dr. George Suarez, who has a urology practice in Miami, travels to Cancun to deliver the treatment on weekends. Suarez serves as medical director for the company that makes the Sonoblade 500. As cancer eats away at the quality of life, patients have to make tough decisions regarding their treatment. Should they confine themselves to tried and tested treatments, albeit ones accompanied by nearly unbearable side effects? Or can they choose to travel to picturesque Cancun to help advance the frontiers of medicine as they explore new treatments? We'll be talking more about the issues raised by risky and experimental procedures in Lesson 3 of Medicine and Morals.